Hello everyone! So another activity that you can try at home is to order your Numicon shapes from 1 to 10. So I would like you to pause your video and jumble up your Numicon shapes in front of you just like I have done. Okay, so we know that each of these Numicon shapes represents a number. So this one is the number 1. And we can check it and we can see that it's the number 1 because it's only got one hole. So we can check it by putting our finger through. 1. Let's have a look at another one. So let's have a look at the number 4. Let's just check that it's the number 4. It should have 4 holes. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4. Yep, that's the number 4. So each of these represents a number. Okay. So let's try and put them in order. Let's see if you can help me. So we need to start off with the number one. I wonder if you can see the number one on your screen or in front of you. I can see it. There we go. Okay, so I'm just going to move these up so I can put these in order. So here we go. Here's the number one. The next one I need to put in order will be the number two. I wonder if you can find the number two. Oh, I can see it. Here we go. Two. Okay, next. We need to put the number three next, don't we? So here we go. Here's the number three. Then we have the number four. Here we go. Five. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so I'm just going to give you a minute to pause your video and make sure you've got all your numbers in order, just like this, from one to ten. Great. Okay. I you to have a look and just make sure that each of your Nemocon pieces are exactly like this, okay, so that we build a little staircase that goes up and up and up and you can see the Nemocon shapes getting bigger every time. Okay, so having it this way, we can clearly see that the number five, for example, has one more than four or eight has one more than seven. Okay, that's why we like to order them just like this. Okay, the next activity or the extension activity to this task is to see if you can match each of your numerals, each of these numbers, under each of the Numicon pieces. Okay, so here they are. And if you haven't got any, I would like you to make some of your own. So let's see where each of these numbers should go. I can see, I can see the number one. Oh, there it is. So the number one needs to go underneath our Numicon piece one. Oh, I hope you can see that. Then we need a number two, don't we? Can anyone see a number two? Oh, there it is. Number two. Then we need to have our number three. Oh, I can see our number three. Can anyone else? Brilliant. Okay, next we need a number four, don't we? Where's our number four? Here it is. Four. Then we need a number five. Can anyone see a number five? I think I can. There it is, number five. Then we need a number six. Oh, where's my six? There it is. Then we need a seven. Can anyone see a seven? There we go, number seven. Next, we need an eight. Where is it? Oh, here it is, number eight. Then we've got two more left. A number nine and a number ten. So we'll put, oh, here's our number nine. And last but not least, our number ten. Brilliant. So now you have also matched each of the Numicon shapes to each of the numbers below.
They're matching numbers. Well done, everyone.